Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's a beautiful day here in Denmark the sun is shining from an almost cloudless sky and I've decided to do some maintenance on my solar collectors the one that produces hot water and it's because the weather is so good outside it's absolutely fantastic it has been a really wonderful couple of weeks months even the last month has been really really nice good weather so um, yeah let's go see what i've been doing let's start in the basement and see that the solar collectors is actually producing hot water so let's go there Oh, bad timing, it's not running right now. The temperature in the, the, in the tank is 23 degrees. And the solar collectors are 28 degrees. Um, there have to be a difference of, I think, about 10 degrees, 8 degrees, 10 degrees. Let me just give it a second, see if it starts. Okay, 31 degrees. 32 degrees and the, and the well, I can see that the temperature center is not placed that good when it started the temperature has risen a lot so maybe I should check that out but now the water is running around in the system you can see this little thing turning around it means that the pump on the side of it is rotating the coolant in the system and the temperature is dropping again and hopefully the temperature in the storage tank will go up it takes all day So let's go upstairs. And here are the solar collectors and they're very 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 dirty so I have to uh, have to wash those off but I'm doing some other maintenance on the solar collectors you can see these bushes over here I've been uh, trimming them down because the morning Sun right now the Sun is up here and it comes up over here and it goes around this way so the morning sun is getting killed by these trees when the sun is very low uh, these trees are able to to do that it doesn't get any sun so I'm trimming those down and here are the trees from downstairs up there are the solar collectors And I'm, I'm thinning them out. <clears throat> I have have this tree in here. It's it's like a oh, it's a tree. <laughs> and I've uh, I've taken off a couple of meters so that it wouldn't be in the way actually there's a branch hanging right there kind of irritating place to have it hanging and i'm gonna take some of this down as well and i'm thinning it out i'm taking taking out some of the big ones this one i've 
free cut. Taking off some of it to uh, to keep it low, and I'm thinning it out so that I don't have to do as much maintenance on it the next couple of years. So now I've thinned out the trees quite a lot and there's a lot of branches laying here and I found some snails, rather big ones and we have these, I don't know what they're called, this one I named last year, this one is called Stine and it's a girl's name and it's a girl I know. So I named the snail and I tagged it on Facebook, gave it her, her name. So in France they eat those, these snails. So pretty cool. I don't eat them. I kind of like them, so I keep them safe. So I'm gonna put them here into the out of the sun. So they will be this one got turned around. Uh, it's not good. There we are. So now I just need to carry all the branches out to my trailer. And here is a little branch. And we'll fit, I'll fit them on the trailer and I'll take them away. And I think I'll bring the camera and show you what we do with our garden waste when I'm not burning it off, putting it in the stove in the winter. In the summer we go to the, well it's not really a dumpster, it's more like a recycling place. But first they have to get out there. And something I've also been wondering is I think I'll take a, a piece of string and put around all the branches so to, uh, to tighten them a bit together so they're not sticking out everywhere. I don't know, maybe I have to take something off the top, but not right now.
So this is how we do it here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tighten this down and we're gonna go to the dumpster or the recycling center. Okay, it's got a blue strip to strip it all down. So now we are ready to go. So, tighten your seatbelt. <laughs> the camera actually got a seatbelt on. This is cool. So, let's go for a ride. So now we are almost there, let's hope it's open, otherwise I'll have to go all the way back home. And it's open, cool. So here there's all kind of different dumpsters for different sorts of material. And the one that is really busy is the one with the garden waste. Uh, all, all the cars are with the, at the garden waste area. Uh, these containers are for electronic goods. And over here we have appliances. And this is for this one is for doors and windows. And this is insulation and things that are not really that reusable so so I emptied all of the garden waste and now I have a have a bit of iron and iron has to go in this container so I'm gonna do that and move along and I have some stuff for some of the other containers well, I'm done emptying the trailer and there's one container that I want to see and it's a container that if you have something that you think that someone else can use, you can put it in that container. I just want to see if there's anything of interest. So let's go there. It's just on the other side of the place. And I'll just I'll just drive by it very slowly and see if there's something that I can't live without. I really don't need to. Oh, it's except for tin books. There was nothing in there. So going back home. And this is of course um, I wouldn't call it free. But we pay for this service over the taxes and actually it's the house taxes that pay for this. So we're back, the trailer is completely empty and the car is here. Um, I'm planning to wash it so uh, yeah. And the bushes is trimmed. And not so big anymore and now I'm planning to go wash off the solar panels with some water and a hose and make them look really nice. I think I've shown this uh, in another video but I have this hose that is coming up up off the ground and that's from the basement and my, uh, my stream down there and I'm pumping out water and it goes up here and this is an insulated tube it's not very pretty 
but it's insulated because it freezes in winter and it goes up here and it goes down this drain and into this fish thing. Uh, haven't seen any fishes down here to this year, but uh, that's beside the point. But uh, this water is okay for cleaning my solar panels, so I'm gonna connect the hose there. The hose there. And the hoses are in here. So I'm ready to start cleaning the solar panels. I got this is a broom for washing your car, and this is a bucket of ordinary soap water like uh, when you're doing the dishes and I got a hose that I have to go down into the basement and uh, set pressure on make them ready for this year's season and the weather is really beautiful right now it's so nice and hot yeah one more thing this roof is not very good to walk on because the black metal it gets uh, warm and if you step on it the wrong way, it will bend. So I have this mattress that I put on on here to uh, to divide the the weight. So now the solar panels is a lot cleaner than they were. And there's a cloud in front of the sky. Um, and I think I see some soap there. I'm not able to. So let's go down into the basement and see if they are producing. So entering the basement. And the system is running heavily. Let's turn on the light. And we have 41 degrees upstairs. Which... Let's see what the tank is saying. It's saying 23 degrees Celsius. So, hopefully I'm going to get a lot of hot water. That's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. I enjoy every subscriber. And um, give it a thumbs up and you'll see me again. Have a nice day.